What's up, you royal rabble ruses? Ben here hitting you with another Molten Truth bomb about everyone's favorite renegade royal couple. Today's piping hot tea surrounds shocking allegations that Prince Harry is colluding with his shady, hacked-off crew to exploit his remaining royal lame and clout for a tawdry book series on the phone hacking scandal. That's right, folks. It seems the desperate Duke of Delusion is so starved for any semblance of relevance that he's stooped to shamelessly stamping his Prince Harry branding all over this lowbrow publishing venture with his cronies. We're talking slapping that rapidly devaluing title all over promotional materials, pushing sordid, invasive gossip terms, dredging up ancient tabloid sins. But hold your horses. I know you're excited for more so. If you're enjoying our discussions about Harry and Meghan, please support us by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and pressing the bell icon. This topic can be controversial, and your support helps us share the truth. Thanks for watching. So now, I mean, could you even conceive of a more pathetic, low-rent grift from this utterly disgraced excuse for a prince? What kind of sad sack Delista signs off on cashing in on such blatantly unethical, ambulance-chasing stunts specifically designed to dredge up maximum trauma for innocent people? But I suppose we shouldn't be too surprised coming from a narcissistic, perpetually oppressed, professional victim like Harry. Just when you think he's already dragged the royal name through enough mud, he somehow manages to limbo even lower into desperate self-parody territory. According to inside sources, the Duke and his cohorts at that sketchy, yellow press box outfit are poised to flood the trashy true crime waters with an entire five-part book series on Britain's naughty newspapers. First up is Prince Harry's War on the Tabloid's Tome, which I can only assume is the written manifesto version of his sad Oprah Truth Warrior performance. Can't you just picture it now? Harry shamelessly stamping his name and face all over this sordid little money grab, pretending it's some brave crusade for justice rather than just another grift banking off his family connections. He's Angela Lansbury with Jinga hair and even less of awareness. I almost have to respect the sheer caucasity of that book's title alone. Prince Harry's War? More like just another civilian battle he cynically co-opted for his own selfish interests and publicity needs. Since when did this Muppet declare war on anything besides wearing appropriate suits to royal events? We will know the truth. The only war Harry is waging these days is a purely attention-based one. It's an endless carpet-bombing campaign to forcibly remain in the public eye by any means necessary. Even it means peddling sleazy tell-alls about news outlets with his con artist criminal buddies. Speaking of Harry's unsavory co-authors on this trashy project, Let's not forget that many of them have been credibly accused of participating in the very phone hacking they now sanctimoniously rail against. We're talking literal convicted felons who illegally tapped into celebrities' private messages without consent. So not only is Harry prostituting his tattered royal brand to push the slimy grift, he's doing it side by side with sketchballs who would have targeted his own family with these very same reprehensible tactics if given half a chance. Such an apt metaphor for the ethical sue at his entire post-royal life has been reduced to. But enough about the smut merchants Harry has decided to debase himself alongside. We have to discuss the breathtaking arrogance of this man-child to overtly peddle more salacious privacy invasions on his very own relatives to make an extra buck. According to sources, these sleazy books promise to spill even more details on scandals specifically involving Harry's aunts Sarah Ferguson and Princess Diana. So not only is he happily oaring out the royal lame he owes everything to, he's essentially greenlit exploiting the trauma of his beloved late mother once more for cold hard cash. Keep in mind, this is a man who, just a couple of years ago, was crying crocodile tears on national TV about the media mistreatment his mother suffered and self-portrayed as her legacy's great protector. Now he's taking on a publishing role to ensure that exact same cycle of abusive press coverage continues by feverishly stripping remaining dignity from his own bloodline. Despicable. What's next after Diana and Fergie ha Harry? A scintillating tell-all about Grandma Lilibet's secret orgies with the palace staff. Maybe a video game adaptation where you play as photographers trying to fatally crash into the Queen Mother's Rolls Royce. If there's a dollar to be shamelessly mined from your family, this man will seize it without an ounce of integrity. This entire sordid saga screams of Harry's mounting desperation to remain in the limelight now that his memoir has bombed and he's been skewered for his podcast lies. It's becoming clearer by the day that he'll debase himself to whatever depths necessary to chase whatever minuscule amount of fame and fortune remains attainable. Just look at the increasingly cringeworthy lengths he's going to for press attention in recent months. First, that artificially distressed spare book release, then that nauseatingly opportunistic service course award purchase. 
another's tawdry publishing grift actively pillaging his own family's privacy all over again. When does it end? If you ask me, this serves as a glaring wake-up call that the proverbial Harry and Meghan train has officially gone off the deep end moral bankruptcy-wise. They're so hellbent on clinging to the very fame they constantly bemoan that they fully reverted to full-fledged hack status. It started with the shamelessly invasive Oprah interview two years ago, but now we're at a point where they're outright partnering with literal criminal phone hackers to push more dredged-up royal drama for clout, and they don't even have the decency to keep the Sussex branding off it. At this stage, no amount of embiggening actual philanthropy flailing or staged private citizen photo ops is ever going to rehabilitate their tarnished image in the public eye. They've permanently branded themselves as the grasping, insidious opportunists everyone always suspected they were. And while Meghan's antics have always been repugnant, it's Harry's total ethical collapse that frankly shocks me more. I never imagined someone once hailed as a war hero potentially throwing away every last shred of public goodwill for such pitifully shameless money-grubbing at his family's expense. But I suppose that's what happens when you trade your entire life's core values for mindless subservience to an insatiable narcissist hellbent on destroying you. Harry has fully surrendered his soul at the tarnished altar of the Markle One. No amount of royal tradition or basic decency is off-limits if it means stroking her pathological ego. So let's raise our glasses to the latest rock-bottom moment for the Duke and Duchess of Delusion. May their sordid little privacy-invading book series forever cement their status as the most transparent, greed-driven grifters in modern history. If hell exists, it has a very special royal suite awaiting these two. Let me know if you agree with my scalding hot takes down in the comments below, Royal Truthers. Do you think Harry's legacy and reputation are being damaged beyond repair? Or was he always doomed to pathetically trade away his values the moment he fell for Meghan's practiced love bombing routine? I want to hear your thoughts. So let's end this right here if you want more content like this. Don't worry, I'll be back soon with more scalding hot tea. But before closing in, you know the drill, like, subscribe, and share this video to spread the word. Until next time folks, bye for now.